Uh, we're very privileged to have with us today has reached the level of Gold Premier Distributor in the network. And if you don't understand what that is, catch him at the end and ask him, because it's a great story. Uh, with his wife, Hazel, John uh, joined the business in 1994. He came from the fishery industry and Hazel was an office worker. And when I asked him earlier today why he joined, he was honest enough to say he joined to make money, which is, let's face it, the reason most of us are here. Uh, in the years that he's been in the business, he's turned over a total of, glad you're all sitting down, £100 million of turnover since 1994. Is that not incredible? <clears throat> and it would have taken a lot more than just two sides of this bit of paper to write down the conferences they've been on, but he has also told me that if you had paid for all the trips that he and Hazel have been on since joining the business, the bill for that would have come to £165,000 worth of trips. The incentives are here. It's not just the money, it's the, the conferences as well. He was the first uh, distributor in the company to qualify for a 5 Series BMW. He then went on to see three members of his team qualify also for BMWs as well. He's been distributor of the year. He's been the top qualifier with Hazel for two of the company trips, so out of all the ones he's been on, including a, a fabulous trip on Concord and a week at the Sandals Resort. And he's also the author of several books on network marketing, which are available at the back, so please see him at the end if you'd like to read further on what he's got to say. So please give it up today for John Stephen. <laughs> Experts so it could take a while. <laughs> How's that look? I'm shocked. Did I hear click or did I? So, um, yeah. Good afternoon, folks. Is uh, with an introduction of like that, dare I say it? You must have been expecting an older man. <laughs> <laughs> That's an all, you know. <laughs> and I've been up in front of the room for a long time, apart from a couple of uh, things we did in the last month. So it's great to be back here. Yeah, I must say, thank you, Jen. And can I just <laughs> say to? Uh, let me search the room to Stephen, Gillian, to uh, Dan, where are you, Dan? To Dan and Holly, and to Dario and Gordon, and Kenny, the wife in Inverness, my guests today. Thanks for coming, guys. We're back in action. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to do is just something for you to show you the power of this little catalog. So if you can just play with me here, guys. How much people in the room in the last week got an order for over £10 for one catalog? Up your hands, over £10 for one catalog. £20, £30, £40, £50 for one catalog. £60, over £60 for one catalog. Neil, how much was yours? 77 80. 77 80. 62. 69. 65 for one catalog, wow. 180, Brenda. 65. 116, Sharon. 108, Paul. Linda. Rosie. 130, George. Uh, 66. 66, Rob. 60. Fantastic. You see that, you guys, that's how powerful this is. How much people in the room did over 200 in the last seven days for their catalogs? Over 200, keep your hands up. Over 250, over 300 for your week, over 400, over 400, over, fi over 500 for a week. Over 500 in orders for this little catalog for a week. Still a lot of hands up, but I'm going to get root anyway. Where are we? Neil? Uh, 1,600 pounds for the week. 750, fantastic. 1,400. Sharon? 600. 800. Adam? 592, fantastic, Adam. Linda? 1,645. Rosie? 1,010, Rosie, did you? Well done, that's fabulous. First full-time week in the business, folks. The first full-time week. 600. So, you guys, 
Do you see how powerful this little thing is? And that's why we've done 100 million in turnover with this business, okay? Um, we used to be involved in another business called NSA. Sometimes stood for no one sells anything. <laughs> but there you go. So what I, is this thing looking okay? Because it feels, it, it feels, I feel, no, I didn't feel, I walk like Rihanna with this thing on. <laughs> is that a tune, eh? So, so I, need, I need to get started. Um, oh, aye, this. What I believe that the business can do for you can take out the real you, the person that you grew up wanting to be, but things happened, circumstances happened, and it all changed and we ended up for being less than we thought. Am I right in saying that? Clean Easy is an opportunity for everybody that can get up there, whether it's a wee bit extra or a lot extra. Um, you need to get your why in place, guys. It's why are you doing this business? This is the one, the sole most important thing is why are you doing it? Because there will be nights that you're out in the rain and it's absolutely chucking it doing because that's what it does in our country, right? And you think, what the hell am I doing? Been there, done it, right? But that's how it is. But your why keeps you going. It could be for your kids. It could be so you can drive your Ferrari. It could be for your wife. It could be for somebody else's wife. I don't care. Just get your why in place. Right? <laughs> Look at this. They don't even see this. They do, how amazing is this? This just really touched me big time. James Taylor, a young kid, left school and they told him that he, if he worked hard, he could get a job in Tesco, earning 800 pounds a month. The guy's got disabilities. And look at his check last month, 2,019 pounds. Wow! Fantastic. Fantastic. And you know what that says? If he can do it, so can everybody. If I doesn't, doesn't get, yes, it's Bob, our friend Bob. Bob was a school teacher, fed up with the hassle, never had enough money, used to fix cars and garages in his garage to make some extra money, got involved in clean easy. Bob's earnings over £6 million. Pound. Must be probably over seven now, I would imagine. Does that get you going? See, what's your why? Do you understand where I'm coming from here? It's what's your why? Because this business can get you. The last few years, I've been looking for the big one. I forgot that I had it here. This is a big one. But it's up to you to make it a big one. Um, see, this is what it comes... This is what it comes down to, okay? It's your daily agenda. Most people underestimate today and overestimate tomorrow. Just how we think about that. What is it we say? The most important thing in this business is TNT. I don't mean the explosive stuff. I mean today, not tomorrow. That's what makes it happens. It's all about creating some urgency here. My success agenda is determined by the daily decisions I make and the daily disciplines I practice. The daily decisions I make, but it's about the daily dis disciplines that I practice. Daily decisions is goal setting. Now, how much times have we set big goals? Or set goals, and when I got there. See, daily decisions is goal setting. Daily disciplines is goal doing. And that's what it's about. It's goal doing. Create an urgency. Uh, the secret of my success is determined by my daily agenda. The decisions I make and the discipl disciplines I practice. People, people want to change their circumstances, right? That's why we join the business, isn't it? Because we want to change our circumstances. To improve their lives instead of changing themselves to improve their circumstances. You see, you can have what you want as business, but you've got to become the person that deserves it. I used to teach, you've got to live with a law I deserve. And in this game, <laughs> In this game, you've got to work. If you want to earn whatever it is, you've got to work a lot harder than that, and soon that will become a reality. Does that make sense? 
It's, it's near winning the lotto. It's near instant. I believe you've got to you know, hit it hard for 90 days and then the results will follow. It takes time. But in Senna, of course, because we had been uh, four years in another business, we knew the trade, we knew the industry when we could start it here. And we did gold in three weeks. But that's because we knew what to do. Okay? People change, I believe, when they hurt enough, they have to. When they learn enough, they want to. When they receive enough, they're able to. But also, what I think is they must be ready to receive and to do the right things. Lots of folk get involved and want it and want it, but they're not prepared to do the right things. You've got to do the right things on a daily basis. Whether it's part or full time, it doesn't matter. But if you're doing the right things, your results will come. Do you know it's possible in other network marketing companies to, to work really hard and do the right things and name it, and name it, make any money? If you do the right things, it's impossible, as you see, not to make money. Do you notice the price of the drink in this hotel, by the way? <laughs> And six pounds for a vodka. <laughs> Is it expensive or have I be, just been drinking in cheap pubs recently? <laughs> That's a fact. Sorry, it's only Diet Coke. <laughs> See, it's easy to stay with the devil you know. Right? This is what I do. I don't want to make changes. I don't want to go into catalogs in the rain, but I want to make 10 grand a month. It. It's easy to stay with the devil you know. But you've got to get your why in place. Because my why was this. I never wanted to go back. Now, I know some of you is fed up seeing that, but it's been a while, right? <laughs> me and, me and uh, Richard's gone fishing in Dubai, right? Yeah, but nae and that with her. I'm nae doing that again. No <laughs> chance. Uh, right, so it was easy for me to stay with the devil I knew. That was me. That's what I did, right? It wasn't an issue. It's was just what we did. It's what was bred intel, if you like. So I never wanted to go back there. So I had to make some changes. You know, people say to me, do you, do you not miss the fishing? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> like a migraine. I'm sure Sharon recognizes us. For us here as his friends of Sharon's in, in, the, in our... Um, Went very quickly, a new rule that was written in because of these bloody fishing scientists <laughs> was, dazed, was dazed at sea. So if it come away a storm in my day, you could get into port, wait it out and go back. Nowadays, that would, could be up to four days wasted steaming out and in. So you've got to stick it out. This is for us and my friends, sticking it out. So I had just seen enough of that, you know. The devil I knew or make some changes. I used to sit in days like this thinking about one day I can, I can fly in a Concorde purely because I used to fish out of the west coast of Scotland, 110 mile west of Malag, and uh, you'd catch a Concorde coming up four or five times a week. And I used to sit there thinking, one day, one day, one day, I want to go there. But I knew I would never be there because my boat was just a little boat. It was just a 60 footer. I knew I'd never get to fly in that plane if I stayed where I was, I knew I had to snap the chain of self-limiting beliefs. It's easy for us to sit here and think, I'm just a fisherman. I'm just a builder. I'm just a truck driver. I'm just a... <laughs> I was Doug. Uh, I'm just a sales guy. I'm just a publican. It's easy to say that. But you know what? In this business, you can be anything you want to be. You can be an SED, like Richard. Get a free car or take the cash. You can go up for that. Lisa, there's plenty of room at the top. Am I right in saying that? It's all about, guys, breaking your self-limiting beliefs. And that's what holds you back. Because maybe through life you've been, con you've seen experiences, if you come up against this glass ceiling, who was I speaking with the other day? Dan, glass ceilings, hitting them back at the time. Well, we're going to absolutely smash them and get them up at plan to get the rewards. That is, sorry, 
if it is, it is business can get you. Snap these chains of self-limiting beliefs and onward to a fantastic future. And folks say, God, you see how hard you're working. It's sitting in, in the Novotel getting coffee isn't working hard, S Steve Gillian, is it? But that's what we do. Of course, the catalogs need to be done, but that's how hard we work. I had to be back in the Novotel yesterday to Steve, see Steve's mate. Oh, terrible hard work, you know? Do you miss the fishing boats? <laughs> <laughs> so get your why in place. This is the important thing. You can stick with the devil, you know, or stick your head in the success rule book. You've got to learn the business. You've got to learn the art and network marketing. It's time to set your clocks, guys. The business is happening again, as you heard for Lisa. There's massive changes happened in this company, and that's why I'm back big time, because the money is here again. It's time to flick our switch and get really cracking it. So what does all that mean? What, what, what does that mean? What does it really mean? It means we need to put our brain in gears because only they can stick a catalog through a door and pick it up again, right? And you've already proved that, guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> only they can do that. But we've got to get a brain in gear on how to build the business. Everybody wants a result. And as you know, the results only come after your action. But the type of the action you take is because of the thinking, because of your thinking, okay? If you're not getting the results you want, guess what we've got to do? We've got to alter the thinking. Am I right in saying that? We've got to alter your thinking. How do you do that? Three circles. This is my new bit. <laughs> three circles. Who would like to see the three circles? Here you go. There you go. Simple as that, we can pack up now and go home. This is you, and it doesn't matter how accomplished you may be, everybody has got a little zone where they're relatively comfortable. Okay? You just saw Sharon's slide there with a the, with the couple with a massive who, see? Would you have the confidence to go and speak to these people? Probably, multi -mil probably millionaires at one stage, but me, as Sharon said, changes the situations, it happens, you know? So you've got to get the confidence. You've got to expand your comfort zone because your stuff, and what I mean by your stuff is your why, your why, your goals, as I like to call them, your current end picture, because you don't have goals and when, when you're on this, uh, way of thinking. You've only got current end pictures because the more you get into it, the bigger your goals become. Does that make sense? Your lifestyle, your people that you want to attract, okay? And this is what it's all about is the people that you want to attract in your business. A business is only ever as good as its people. Remember that. Comes down to your communication skills. Whether it's in front of folk, that's the way I like to date. I'd love to be able to date on the internet, but I'm crap at it. I really would like to sit in my office all day and send emails. And these Skype calls and all that kind of stuff, but you know what? I'm just hopeless. But you know what? I am so good on that phone. I am so good in front of people, it scares me sometimes. <laughs> you know? I was doing a presentation the other day, and I says, you know what? If I was nine, I would join again. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how I got there? To that level of confidence, I got there through practice and practice and practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. And, practice. and you know what? Who can practice? Everybody. So guess what? I need to practice at the internet side of things, right? Maybe I'll be able to get at least one in. So how, how do we get out to that other thing? How do we get out to the outer circle there where you can attract the right people, your stuff, your lifestyle? It's by working on your communication skills, developing your capacity as a business person.
that's how we do it. We've a lot of stuff just coming up, which you'll hear about very soon for Mike or myself, happening in the next couple of weeks, okay? Um, it's about you becoming the person who deserves the results you're looking for. Because there's big checks happening in this business, everybody thinks they can get there. But why not spend some time becoming, learning the new skills, learning new communication methods, so you can get there, so you can attract the right people. It's going to give you that lifestyle that you want. See, it's about creating urgency, guys. Only my opinion, of course. It's about creating urgency. But seven new guys, this is about, you, as I showed you, the 18%. And three folk in your team, three folk doing a grand, you doing a thousand and eighty pound ad gives you 18%, okay? I need to, we need to see these three people before your catalogs get delivered. That's how we're working it, okay? That's, we need to see these three people before your catalogs come. Okay, I'm not interested in waiting until you've done a grand a month. The hell what? Just get a folk in front of us. Well, let's work it together. What do you need to know? Enough is get them in front of us. All you got to say is, look, come and have a coffee with this guy. He'll pay. He's turned over 100 million. Come and see if it's about. We've just got started. It looks great. I met a guy called Richard on Saturday. Got a free BMW, but he turned it down. He took the cash instead. I met him on Saturday. Come and show me my foot. Come and show. Come and let me see. Uh, come and see my foot. I took with Richard after this meeting. Okay, come and see, come and see the guy. Does that make sense? But guess what? How much of you will do it? That's what it's about, guys. It's creating. The, it's all good fun and all the rest of it. But it's about getting the people in front of us or in front of your sponsor, whoever you're working with. You've got to be a wee bit teachable here. Is that right, John Sharp? John Sharp's our sponsor. Was, I, was we teachable when we started? Yes, indeed. I'm glad you came in, John. I bet you are. <laughs> John, I'm glad you asked this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, You've got to be teachable. But you know what? Then I wait till you know everything. Biggest mistake in the book. I didn't care enough to tell him. How does this thing go? Because I'll forget probably. Ignorance on fire yeah, ice. is better than knowledge and ice. Right? Just get excited. Get a folk in front of your sponsor or however you guys do it. Okay? Just work your system. Here's a couple of books that I highly recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tell you a quick story. How much time have I got left, Lynn? Okay. Quick story. Uh, I need to check my next slide. No. no there you go. Um, quick story. Which one was I going to tell you? <laughs> Either. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, I, right. Quick story <laughs> is I think I'm dyslexic. I haven't had time to take the test. And even if I take it and I find out, what good is that? Right? Not much good at all. So, I needed to make more money to support my son's racing career. Then I went to bore you, but you know the story. So we was doing a speaking thing, which was great. Lisa said earlier, as you have self-published, the average sale is 500, 500 books. That in there, which you can get today if you don't already have, <laughs> that in there sold 17,000 copies. That in there, the 13,000, and I lost the reason why I was promoting books. I do believe it's very strong messages, and I wrote them for here. And Hazel helped write them for here. But just to, somebody said earlier, you can do anything you want if you really want to. Okay, it's how bad you want it. Somebody phoned me up once. He says, John, how are you getting on with the second book, the one on network market in our industry? I said, oh, I changed my mind. I'm not doing it. Oh, he says, that's a shame. We've got a conference coming up. We'll have, 30, we'll have 12,000 people there, and I was going to promote it for you. And I thought, Phew. how much people will you hit the conference? And you'll promote it for the stage? Absolutely. He says, right, you'll have your book. He says, it's 21 days till the conference, which was taken in Christmas and New Year. That's impossible. I says, well, let's hear a go. Now, I wouldn't, if you ever think in writing a book, I wouldn't recommend you do it in that length of time because it's probably the nearest you'll ever come to divorce, right? But we set about the task, and in 21 days, that book there 
was delivered to the NIA in Birmingham. If we can do that, dyslexic, I think, <laughs> what can you do? You see, it depends how bad you want to do it. It's as simple as that. It depends how much pain you're willing to go through and rejection you're willing to go through, Ken, until you get your new guy that we can work with. That's a business. That's how it works. Sometimes I believe that you're tested and tested and tested, and then some, some day are the laws of the universe and says, you know what? As guys worked so hard on Gant Gima, we break now. <laughs> two breaks, eh? Fantastic. Fantastic. You understand where I'm coming from, guys? Eh? Moving on. We need to get the Brennan gear to learn the new skills. The days I sat there thinking, fast forward, uh, uh, my computer usually shows me my next slide, but Mike never set it up, so I haven't got a clue what I've done, so I can't see my next slide. So let me see if I've got a good memory. Probably not. The days I sat there on the boat, watching the Concord going past, thinking one day, one day, one day. Finally, I managed to break free of the fishing. Fast forward four years, we're sitting in a clean, easy conference, and the chairman, George at the time, came on stage and said, and announced the trip, which was in Paradise Island on the Bahamas. Now, we had never been to Paradise Island on the Bahamas before, but we really wanted to go. We were so motivated. <coughs> and then he said, for one special distributorship, Whoever has the highest percentage increase in the entire company will get a flight in the Concorde to New York for five days, staying at the Sheraton and Broadway. And I said to Hazel, you know what? That's over. That's over. How do you know? Because I've thought about it for years. The same as sitting in the same venue, the sea goddess came up. Sea goddess. There was only 100 qualifiers, and there was 100 crew. Doogie, this is Doog, by the way, said to Carol, you know what, we're go you know what Carol, we're going. Carol says, how do you know? I just know. Is that right, Doug? And did we hear some fun in that boat? Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, lost. So... Four years later, sorry, a year later, we're in a conference, and the winner is me and Hazel. Is that spooky or what? But we just wanted it so bad. to get, I, I really wanted to get on that plane so bad. Getting for free was a bonus, I guess. So as I'm saying again, doesn't matter what you want. You can have it if you're prepared to get the finger out and go to work. See... This business can let you find the real you, but you've got to be prepared to go and find him or her. The whys, the car thing came up, and that was just fantastic, special, special day. Not because we got a car, but because Stanley and Andy and Anne got in as well. And then a couple of months later, Mike and Susan got there. What a buzz. I'll never forget this day as long as I live. This young lady here just signed back in the business yesterday. My daughter. This guy here, where is he? Davey, at the back. Just signed back in the business a week now. Uh, ten days ago. Got his first daughter. He's going, I can't do it. Why, Dave? I have too much order. <laughs> How much orders have you got? £780. I've still got stragglers. For one drop, because he's he went back to see his customers. So by the time he got his stragglers, he'd nine hundred and forty-six pound for a hundred and fifty catalogs or something. <laughs> it's a bummer when that happens, isn't it? <laughs> so can I wait for Dubai and the Maldives? Can we, Doug? Nope. But as I said, guys, we're putting on a thing called Going Together. So next year, we will all be going together, those, those of you in the team who want to go.
Um, three things. This is my second last slide, by the way. Three things. Okay, you need to do this. How often do you need to have a strategic huddle? A strategic huddle is a huddle between you and yourself or you and your partner. Okay? I used to think we should do it monthly, weekly. No, we need to do this daily. Guys, this is top notes for your, for your notebooks, but a lot, I, 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 I know a lot of you have it. Okay? At the end of the day, we need to ask what's gone right and why. And it's important to acknowledge what has gone right. At the end of the day, we need to ask what's gone wrong and why. And at the end of the day, we need to ask what needs to change. What do we need to change? Get your why in place, guys. Go out there and release the, the real you. And I will finish as I always do. As I say, just get out there and just do it. Thanks for your time and thanks for listening. It's been a pleasure.